This video will demonstrate the steps necessary to administer medications via the intranasal route. In this video, we will be utilizing a commercially available mucosal atomizing device. It is imperative that the EMSP ensure a needle is never placed in the patient's nostril. Medication concentrations should be no more than one milliliter of fluid is distilled into a single nair. For medication volumes of less than one milliliter, administration into a single nair is acceptable. If the medication dosage ranges between one and two milliliters, the EMSP is to place one milliliter per nair. Begin by taking appropriate body substance isolation. Assure that the patient is being oxygenated and ventilated appropriately if necessary. Ask the patient for known allergies. Clearly explain the procedure to the patient. Select the correct medication and assemble the equipment. The EMSP will need the medication, appropriate syringe, typically a 3 milliliter, needle, and mucosal atomizing device, sharps container, alcohol swab, and gauze. Prior to administration, ensure the rights of medication administration to include right patient, right medication, right dose, right route, right time. Also assess for medication clarity and expiration date. Assemble the needle and syringe. Cleanse rubber stopper and draw up to the appropriate volume of the medication into the syringe. Dispose of the needle in the sharps container. Attach mucosal atomizing device to syringe and dispel air. Stop ventilation of patient or remove oxygen therapy if necessary. Inspect for largest nostril and ensure no obstructions are present. If obstruction is present, suction nostril or consider alternative medication route. Using the free hand, hold the head stable and place the tip of the device snugly against the nostril. Aim slightly up and outward, toward the top of the same side ear. Briskly depress the syringe plunger and instill the medication. Be sure to instill no more than one milliliter per nair. Administer remaining volume into opposite nair if needed. Dispose of the syringe and atomizer into Sharps container and resume ventilation or oxygenation. Observe the patient for desired effects, adverse effects, and changes in condition.